And the starting pitcher stats brought to you by Hall Furniture for Chris Archer. You look at his numbers here. The, the biggest issue for Chris has been uh, has been ball one, ball two, and uh, too many ball fours. So they're looking for him to fill up the strike zone a little bit against these Detroit hitters, let the stuff work a little bit. Riley Green in the leadoff spot. And he starts his night with a strikeout. To right center field, and that's going to find the alley. All the way to the wall. And on a 1 2 count, Javier Baez trots in with a one out double. A swing and a miss. A couple of strikeouts here in the first for Archer, and that'll get Cabrera up with two away. Runner at second, two outs, and the 0 2 pitch line drive right side. Glove by a rise on a hop. He'll throw out his countrymen as one Venezuelan retires another. And Arise makes a good play. A little stare back at Cabrera to end the inning. And a run saving play made by Arise here in the opening inning. And it's nice to have this young man bat. Matt, Matt Manning on the bump for the Tigers today. Listen, making his first start since April the 16th when he left the game after two innings with right shoulder discomfort. Arise hitting 331, number one average. Arise slams one to left. But Dew is there. Ground ball in the hole. Baez. Long throw in the dirt, but Harold Kastler was there to bail him out. And you're going to be pitching to contact a little bit more in many of your at bats. Swinging a pop up down the third base line. Baez into foul territory. Will back pedal and keep going down the line. Baez hung with it, made the catch in foul territory. Another 0 2 to Condelario. And another strikeout for Archer. From the belt, Archer looks to second, comes home, and the 1 2 pitch. Fly ball into right field deep. Contreras going back, still going. Mark near the wall has a play as he calls and catches on the warning track to end the inning. Riley Green is 0 for his last 10, struck out swinging to begin the game. Long hold, and there goes Badu. Swung on and missed. Sanchez with a good arm, and it's a strike about throw him out. Sanchez had a real good opportunity, good pitch to catch and throw with, and he threw it right on target. Two and two on Baez in the third, no score. And that is strike three called, and Baez knew it. Not looking for a slider at 92. Mark Contreras leads off, hitting ninth here tonight. There's a high fly right field. It's got some carry. It's back, and it is gone over the overhand. And Contreras with his first big league home run, putting the Twins in front. So now here's Luis Arise, line to left, his first time up. This one line to left. This will settle for a base hit. So Arise gets a base hit following Contreras' home run. Chopper to third. And Arise is safe. They won't get it out. Arise ran around Condelario, who tried to get the lead runner, and he got none. Well, they're loaded up now for Nick Gordon. Popped up behind third. Long run for Condelario. Badu coming in, setting up for a tag. Arise. He's coming home. And the throw is offline. Arise beats the throw from Akil Badu. And Gordon got the job done getting Arise in from third base. Correa remains at second. Miranda at first, and now Urshela. The 1 1. Hammered to left, but Badu is there to his knees to grab the line drive. Back to strike him out. Six strikeouts for Archer through three and a third inning. Much better fourth inning for Chris Archer. It includes a couple of strikeouts. And he's got a two-nothing lead after three and a half. A walk to Willie Castro. And here is Jonathan Scope. Flew out to right field. His only time up. Line drive down the left field line. And that ball is fair and bounces into the corner, getting away from Jake Cave. Willie Castro will turn third. He will score. Jonathan Scope has an RBI double, and the Tigers have cut the Minnesota lead in half. And Moran will come in. Moran, the only lefty in the Twins' pen. So now Green, who has struck out twice swinging against Chris Archer, now facing the lefty Moran. And a line drive base hit down the right field line. Scope will score. Green will dig for second. The throw is late, and Riley Green does what Jonathan Scope did earlier. Drives in a run with a double, and we're tied at two. Down and away, and it's a leadoff walk for Correa. Under the glove of Castro. Rounding second. Correa on his way to third, and the throw not in time. That'll be up to Gordon with first and third one out. 
to right field. Castro's got a strong arm. Tagging is Correa. Here's the throw on the plate. Not in time. And Miranda tagged out at second, but the run scores. The Twins regain the lead. It's 3 2. Brings up Miguel Cabrera. On the ground. Cut off. Correa comes up, firing and throwing out. What a play by the Twins shortstop. Just love watching him play. I absolutely love it. Here's a ground ball. He knows who the hitter is. All he knows exactly who the hitter is, and he, if he can catch that ball off the off on his chest, he's got a chance to get up and get Miguel Cabrera out. Does just that. Bounces up. Throws a one-hot strike. Griffin Jackson numbers. He's been very good as well. That basically one walks and hits the innings pitch. That's excellent. Ground ball right side. Oh, nobody's there. Jax and Miranda with some miscommunication, and Eric Haas is aboard to start the seventh. Inside, he walked him. One time twin minor leaguer, Akil Badu. 0 for 1 with a walk tonight. He's 2 for his last 28. Ground ball through the hole on the right side. Akil Badu comes through yet again. He did it last night. He does it again tonight and ties it at three. Here's Riley Green, RBI double last time up. Line drive under the glove of Carlos Correa. Badu goes first to third. The Tigers have their first lead thanks to the RBI single from Riley Green. And McGill's assignment, keep this a 4-3 game. Baez doubled back in the first. And singles here in the seventh. Another run for the Tigers. It is now 5-3 Detroit. 1-2 to Korea. Strike three call. One hopper to Baez. How about that job by Chafin? The 1-1 one grounded to Jonathan Scope. Joe Jimenez ready for an increased roll. He proves it again here in the eighth, stranding a one-out single and preserving the Tigers' two-run lead as we head to the ninth, turning things over to their closer, Gregory Soto in the ninth. Yes, nice to see the flamethrower out there. Gary tonight is one for three, two for seven in this series. Ground ball in the hole. Baez plants, throws a rocket, and got him by a step. Nice play to start the ninth. It's a really nice play there by Baez. Getting over backhand in this baseball here. And watch how he loads up on that backside, off that back leg to get a lot on that throw. You see Candy there diving, not getting there, but by it. Watch him plant that back foot. And that's how he's able to show off his arm. There's one to left. Two quick outs. In the air, right field. Willie Castro calls for it. Last night, Minnesota won 5 3. Tonight, it's the Tigers who win 5-3. And on a day in which they lose a couple of veterans, Detroit shows some moxie to even the series with the Twins.